a guy who get a good shot. Well, you can't see it, but I can. And his eye is really absolutely closed on the left side. That uh, jab of Buster was good in the early going, but the big surprise to me is the way Buster came back in the ninth round. Look at this. Buster not intimidated. He wants to keep it going. Mike actually, his legs, he's noticed his legs in these wide shots. He doesn't have good bounce in his knees. Buster's legs actually look fresher to me. See Mike the way he went back in his heels, doesn't have the good balance. His legs together as Buster's landing these. Oh, nice uppercut! By Buster Douglas! Look at this! He's knocked Mike Tyson down for the first time in his career! Mike Tyson hits the canvas! He's in big trouble! He may not be able to recover! It's up to seven! And eight! He's not gonna make it! Unbelievable! 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 Buster Douglas is the new heavyweight champion of the world! This has got to be, if so be, one of the biggest upsets in the history of boxing. Buster Douglas, the new undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. It happens here in Tokyo, Japan. Twenty-three seconds in round number 10. The winner by way of knockout, the new heavyweight champion of the world, James Buster Douglas! That was 1990, and massive underdog James Buster Douglas shook the boxing world with a knockout of unbeaten Iron Mike Tyson and proved there's no such thing as a boxing certainty. Far, almost nobody. First real signs of weariness on Holyfield. First real signs. Oh, a straight right combination by Holyfield. Holyfield looking to air it out. Holyfield's unloading and he's taking a shot. He's going for it. Oh, Tyson's in trouble. Holyfield smothers Tyson. Looking to put Tyson down and end the fight. Tyson is not in trouble. He's saved by the bell. Mike is out on his feet. Take a look. Just when it looked like he was getting tired, he gets fired up, and here comes that champion's heart. It's a series of punches, some of which missed, but most were landing, and they were landing with accuracy, as you can see that. One at a time, you can see that's the one that did it. See, as he, can't, as he came in, that's what they've been saying. If you ever catch him coming in, he's so wide open that he's gonna fall apart, and he did. Now here's where the referee's previous experience came in. He let the other fight go on too long, and he almost stepped in to stop it. Holyfield with a barrage showing tremendous power. Tyson's legs are bad. The championship rounds, round 11, and now here we go. Mike Tyson is a warrior too, and he's gonna have, he's still gonna have that natural power. That's the last thing that'll go. Evander's gotta be careful here to hold on, but he has, for a perfect fight. No matter what happens from here on in, we are looking at a sports legend in the purple trunks, Evander Holyfield. Holyfield continues to dig in. A left hook to the head. He's got Tyson in trouble. Tyson's ready to go. A straight right hand. The champion stops the fight. And Holyfield has I won. can't believe what I'm saying. It's the most unbelievable thing I've ever been privileged to witness. Mayhem. It is Bedlam.
Well, this is the doctor and the commissioner. They're both he taking a look at it. He, he bit his ear. He's out. He bit his ear. I can see the bite mark. Okay. He bit his ear. He's out. Tony Mark well. Ratner, head of the commission. Well, let me ask the doctor. He bit his ear. Can you can he go on? Yes. Okay. It's gonna be a two point deduction. The fight will go on. Two point. Mills Lane was ready to stop the fight for Holyfield. The fight will go on. Overruled by Flipamansky, the doctor who said. Mills Lane is a take charge kind of guy. He's a judge. He'll take no nonsense. He both shit. It's gonna cost him two points. Two points. Two points off here. He bit his ear. Two points off. Two. Can you believe this? Two oh, points. This is getting stranger and stranger. We're getting to see strange things off. happen in boxing. We go back to the change of referees. I wonder how this would have played in right. Mitch Halpern's eyes. Oh, my goodness. That's a, that's a thought, Bobby. You got a big, tough judge here. Major controversy here in round three. A very angry Evander Holyfield now. A, a left hook. You know what's funny? Tyson. Mike was having his best he round. Again. He, he did it again. again. Mike Tyson has bitten Evander Holyfield for the second time, and it is all out for. I saw that one. That was right clear. It's a miracle he didn't get bit back. I'll tell you what, this is unbelievable. It's getting spanked by Lennox Lewis. But he is always dangerous. Pushing Tyson back, leaning on Tyson. And right now, firing that right cross. That no matter what, Rodney Shields 
spent eight weeks teaching my instincts. And we see less bobbing and weaving. He is a dangerous puncher. Lewis leads on Tyson, connects with a right hand. In the fourth round, Tyson, five of 27. Away. Kinds of calls from Eddie Cotton. A lot of people looking at the pick and for opportunities to set up his right. Hello. Okay, do something. Lewis, another strong overhead. Tyson in his sixth. Is that so far? It's clearly the aggressor inside the ring. Those right hands. Lewis keeps that up. That fight is gone. Look at uh, You understand? Not many people can do that. You understand? Had a knockout. Pass the seventh round. Lennox Lewis tripled Mike Tyson. Lewis unloaded. Lennox Lewis trying to finish. Been highly motivated to come into this fight. Hoping that this fight would not hard. No, you can't take that from him. Big right hand from Lewis. Lennox Lewis cements his. Down three times and stopped in six rounds. Ian Tyson was coming into that. That's a good right hand. Yeah, he's Hold in trouble again from that. Williams. But again, his head's in the clear. And another huge vintage Tyson right cracks, explodes against the jaw of Williams. And he took that too. You can't believe this. See, the thing is, Tyson was expecting a one round job. This is exactly what Danny Williams is expecting. He's getting what he expected and he's coping with it perfectly. Well, we wondered if Williams could get to the fourth round, and we thought if he could, he might start to make it very interesting. He has got to the fourth round. He might have had two points deducted in that last round, unfairly, we thought. Let's see what happens now. Well, if he can start using the two-stone advantage now to manhandle Tyson, push him back, make space for his own punches, could he turn this all the way around? Danny Williams is doing British boxing proud here. So far, he's done nothing less than phenomenally placed with the kind of heat and electricity that Tyson can exert. And there's a flat-footed look about Tyson now, Ian. He doesn't want to be in this kind of fight at the age of 38, especially when he's expecting a one-round job. Chance of Tyson, Tyson, from the 15,000 fans in this Freedom Hall where Muhammad Ali made his debut after his Olympic gold. They're both really feeling the pace, they've both taken big shots, they've thrown big shots. Tyson's still just looking that little bit more dangerous. And Williams has certainly had more than his fair share of moments, even though Tyson, I fancy, has been winning the rounds. Well, definitely the first signs of Tyson, uh, tiredness in Tyson's work. He's not quick to resume the attacks. Right cross twice from Williams as they work in close. He's not intimidated by Tyson. Is he going to get to him? Will Tyson punch himself out? Will his age begin to tell now? Ian, the first signs are showing that Tyson is punching himself out. He's throwing single shots. He's taking punches now. His defences are scattered. And he's in trouble here. Williams is getting to him. Big attack from Danny Williams. It's about a dozen punch combination. And Tyson rocked a little bit from these. He's in big trouble and he goes down! Only the ropes kept him out! 38-year-old Mike Tyson! We could be on the brink of a sensation! The count is five and he stops the count because oh. Williams wasn't in the neutral and then he picked it up at six! Nine, he's going to knock him out! He's all knocked out! A sensational win for Danny Williams! One of the biggest wins in British boxing history! You cannot believe it! Tyson! may be knocked into retirement by the unconsidered Danny Williams of Great Britain. Absolutely amazing. Well, after stringing it along for all those years, Danny Williams has finally done what we've expected, more than anybody could expect him to do. A wonderful performance, and he did it the right way. He took everything that came his way from Tyson. He took Tyson's best shots and dished out better. Wonderful performance. Fantastic. I'm trying to get my breath back. That is the biggest 
British win in America, I'd say, since Lloyd Hunnigan upset the man who was regarded as pound for pound the best in the world at the time, at his rate, Don Curry, back in... Introducing to you first, on my right, fighting out of the blue a corner, entering the ring wearing tartan trunks, fighting out of Dorchester, Massachusetts, by way of Cronus, Ireland. He weighed in at 271 pounds, with a record of 32 wins, four losses and one draw. He has 27 wins, coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the heavyweight champion of Ireland, known as the Clonus Colossus, introducing Kevin McBride. Two twenty remaining in the round, and Tyson trying to end it right here. So what a sense of urgency on both sides. Tyson using his head again on the inside, and now complaining to Joe Cortez. Now if this fight is stopped, they should go to the scorecards unless Tyson would not. If it stopped because of the cut, so Tyson reverting to roughhouse tactics here. It's an awful round for Mike Tyson. And the right hand upstairs. A real conundrum for McBride. He wants to stay on the inside, but the roughhouse tactics with the head and everything else are making him not want to be on the inside. It's up to Joe Cortez to really take control now of this fight. And it's a tough one. So this has really gotten dramatic here now in round six, midway through. And Joe Cortez really has his hands full. Right hand to the head by Tyson, but... McBride undaunted, showing his heart, and landing with those left. But those shots are adding Tyson in this round. Less than a minute remaining, round six. All right, bring it up, bring it right there. In a fight that has shifted dramatically, McBride landing the uppercuts from close range. Things have turned for McBride. Tyson too far away, a right uppercut, two right uppercuts landing by McBride on the chin. And those were delivered well. Those were delivered with him bending at the knee and they had some power. Kevin McBride, a journeyman, is making Mike Tyson look like a third-tier heavyweight. Oh, bigger, 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 bigger. Fifteen seconds left in the sixth round. And if McBride actually wins this round, it would be a 10-7 round. Oh, oh. Not a knockdown. McBride just pushing Tyson down. And he's having difficulty come on, come on. getting up. Come on. Well, an eventful round, to say the least. First... Mike Tyson twisting the arm. Uh, it's Mike over, Al. It's over. Kevin McBride is the winner. Mike Tyson quits on his stool. He's not coming out for the seventh round.